Hey everybody, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner we have Scarlet. Figured I'd add the emphasis. Bottom left hand corner, upper right hand corner we have 80s Mullet. This is on Circuit Breaker, which I believe this is... I think they're going through the Artosis Scarlet show match maps. Scarlet thinks she doesn't like this map. Which actually I feel like this is one of those maps that might favor her playstyle, where she likes going for aggressive macro oriented builds. We'll see if she does that. Again, where like just going so macro oriented and keeping on the the smaller unit counts, and she ends up pushing into stronger superior positions in the mid game and late game. Anyway, I want to give all the shout outs at the beginning rather than the end because I know oftentimes people will drop out at the end. If you see Scarlet streaming StarCraft Two and you like this, go ahead and poke and be like, hey, maybe some Brood War here and there. She hasn't streamed in a while. At least I haven't seen her online. Eighties Mullet though, actually, as I look in the background, I will rate him immediately after this. He is where I oftentimes will watch my StarCraft because he tends to do it during my lunch break and I am oftentimes in his chat. And if you like seeing the king of the, if you like seeing these matches and you like seeing Nash and Machine and Urban and those guys, oftentimes they are doing King of the Hills together and doing fun stuff like that. So, and also I should mention that you can catch me on Twitch TV, Diggity SC, because I am, I'm casting this game live to a live StarCraft Twitch audience. I'm not sure how to say that one in the sort of, because it's not live studio, right? Whatever. Gateway <laughs> planted from Scarlet, upper right hand corner, mullet planting that barracks alongside. I like the I like this sort of positioning better where it's a little bit more wide open. This is just my preference. This is the non Terran player, just commentator watching this sort of thing preference. Is I like seeing this kind of more thing rather than it backed into the probe line. Refinery plop down for mullet, so it looks like he is gonna do an opener that's more factory. Uh, based. I'm actually kind of curious. I'm trying to think whether this is his standard opening or if he's just going for kind of the standard build that he's expecting Artosis to do. This is Artosis definitely tries to aim for that style, not every single time, but often three probes and gas. By the way, Cybernetics course, we're not going to see a cutback to get an early Nexus. Mullet is sending out that scout in the interim. My circuit breaker is a two player map. That might be why Scar. Or is, is it a two player? Sorry, no, brain fart. It's a four player map. For some reason, I was thinking of Eclipse all of a sudden. The SCV broke just in the nick of time to give uh, a brain fart. Someone in chat is wondering how old these games are. This is actually from four months ago, I believe. So this was Scarlet and 80s Mullet preparing for the Artosis Scarlet show match. And so if, if you watch Scarlet playing against Artosis, keep in mind Mullet was there in the background making a lot of that action happen. And I think this with this barracks build what you can actually do is put the marine and slide it in here and it can sit in this space i believe and then the zealot can do absolutely nothing factory plant uh, being planted for mullet so we're not seeing a 14 cc or any sort of early aggression and we once again see the zealot being skipped let's see if that again an advantage of this build sometimes is depending on when the scout comes in you can deny it earlier it looks like the dragoon isn't going to be quite in position to deny this first scv is going to be able to slide in see the amount of probes on gas and slide right back out the one big advantage, and I'm almost wondering if Scarlet's going to add this to her game. Mullet's still trying to hang around and actually might be able to sweep around. She's just going to sit with a single Dragoon. I think that was just a single Dragoon. Never mind, she did build a second Dragoon, but it's going to plop a Nexus qu quickly after. And I'm wondering if Mullet is going to cycle back around with this SCV to try to sneak in. But the Dragoon is going to have to be used to scout, so she's going to be denied a lot of information. I don't think it's going to cost her because it doesn't look like Mullet's up to anything tricky. Just getting the machine shop, floating that barracks out to the low ground has the standard two marines in the bunker. But moving out, two SCVs out on the field. I'm wondering if the second SCV is just like, okay, we need a healthier one to get through. But there's only a single Dragoon there currently, as that Nexus is about halfway. And we don't see any additional gateways. So I'm almost wondering if we're going to see a quick sneak to three once again. 80s Mullet looking for proxies and things like that, just in case. I think that's what's happening here is, are we seeing someone? Or maybe he's going to hide some tech, I don't know. Could see a starport, possibly. We'll try to keep an eye on that three o'clock SCV. Second factory being built for Mullet. He is getting that initial siege tank out. The first Dragoon finding that front door and it should move back momentarily. But no SCV. In okay, there's the SCV. I was about to say no SCV in position for Mullet because I was a little bit concerned. Is he going to get a, a nice SCV? They're just in time to prevent the Dragoon from getting a run by and able to sneak up the ramp and get that additional scouting information. Sometimes that can be where you want that uh, Zealot instead. A little bit faster on the ground on his feet and a little bit happier to die for the cause. Nexus is up. <laughs> I almost feel like Scarlet's microing this Dragoon just to micro it. It's like, what, what what kind of micro can I do? But, oh, I missed it in the interim. See, while that was happening, I, okay, I think what happened here, 
I'm going to play back what I think happened with Scarlet here. She had the wrong Dragoon on her hotkey. She had this Dragoon on the hotkey, and so she clicked this Dragoon in back, and it was actually this Dragoon that was sitting on the front door, and instead it got splatted by that siege tank. So it didn't retreat quite in time, and she didn't have, and she was trying to do that from a mini-map. This is five Marines, so I think we're going to see, yeah, FD push here from 80's Mullet. So he's got two siege tanks, some vultures. The vultures will follow. This is going to be rough. It looks like speed is being upgraded. So that's going to be five Marines total, a couple SCVs. I like this support bay in the front. We do see a shuttle being built. This is still a very light attack force, so this is only true. This is going to be three Dragoons. Three Dragoons versus all of this. 80's molded a little bit slow on the uptake. It looks like, though, if he had moved now, if he had moved with this attack force now, I would say that the game was over. Instead, I think it might be a toss-up. Might be a toss-up. He's... Scarlet is going to be at a disadvantage where she's still trying to produce off two gateways. However, she does have this and might actually lose that robotic support bay right on the front. Let's see. She does have a reaver about halfway finish. And if she gets that reaver out, this, this will be stopped in its tracks. And so Mullet's delay there might have cost him an easy win. We'll see. Maybe waiting on that speed. So no... No additional command center behind this, so I think this isn't all in, but it is definitely going to put, in a, put him at an economic disadvantage, in particular if he can't take out this Nexus. And unfortunately for him, that Reaver is just now out. So Scarlet is going to be, and especially with Scarlet and her ability to micromanage, I'm almost wondering if we're going to see her clown on him a little bit. A couple mines planted. I'm, it's also possible what we were seeing from 80's Mullet was an attempt at just doing... No, I think this was an FD and it was just quite a bit delayed. Dropping... The Marines getting on top of that... The Zealot trying to mine drag in. A single Vulture sneaking through. One Goliath down... Or one Goliath. One Dragoon down. Nice hit with the initial Reaver. The Reaver's got to do work here, though, because this is not a lot of Dragoons to deal with this. Plus, that might be the only Reaver for a while because that Robotic Support Bay might get taken out. Bunker being plopped to provide some additional defense... For these marines. I don't see any vultures, speed vultures coming to support this though. There's never mind. There they are on the mini-map. I just missed them with my eyeballs. Let's see if they can take out that robotic support bay to keep these reavers from producing. Because here's the thing, this bunker isn't gonna do anything to provide defense against this reaver that's shelling the front, and siege check is not finished. So it's just gonna be kind of a tit for tat thing. The reaver is gonna be able to shell at range. Shield battery just in case, and that is gonna be additional support for that reaver. I think that robotic support bay is just gonna get sacked. Scarlet supply capped right now because of everything that was lost on the front. Siege check was up, so I think I uh, missed that. But now let's see the micromanagement of Scarlet. Can she stop this slow breach from moving forward? 80s mullet with kind of a death grip. Game's not over. Trying to sneak up, pick off that tank. Zealot from above gets the first tank. The Vulture's trying to sneak through, plant some mines. Reaver on top. Nice scoop up, but the Vulture's starting to move their way into the main. Plus, some mines went off, killed some additional Dragoons on the low ground. And some more mines being planted. It's not exactly where Mullet wanted them. It's not on top of the gateways. But, okay, it looks like the Dragoon... No, second one hits. So those Dragoons are going to be softened up. And more Vultures streaming in. It looks like they are going to be able to get on top of that natural expansion. So Mullet, with some patience... Oh, and that mine taking out the Reaver. That was huge. And let's see... Is oh, let's. Oh, man. That could have been a lot worse, actually. Probe's still alive. But with a different tank shell shot that would have been all of the probes right there certainly this natural expansion is going to get taken out mullet has gone ahead and started building his command center and this is exactly what you want to see as a terran in this situation one reaver left but honestly scarlet has to sit on the high ground with this reaver to defend this and this this i think is a good build against scarlet's overly uh or unit small front dragoon down mine kills all the marines but also takes out the reaver i'm wondering if we see no no additional robotic support bay Additional gateways being plopped down. Some vultures still finding their way in. And more probes moving to the low ground. Now that the rest uh, of that army has been, looks like, mostly mopped up. So Scarlet, a little bit, okay, up to six gateways. Didn't lose her nexus, critically. Is reestablishing her front door, so nice defense. And I gotta say, because Mullet did not take out the nexus, only got, I don't know, a handful of probes... Did get the robotic support base, so that was something. But Scarlet sitting on a larger bank. I think she might be in a good position to move in the mid game. She this is three factories plus a starport building a wraith. What is the wraith for? 
Against the Heavy Dragoon Force with Observers already out in the field, maybe to deal with that shuttle? Maybe, okay, I think what's happening here is Mullet's still concerned that there was a second build of Reavers and that he was going to have to deal with just constant Reaver harass. In fact, I, I'm wondering if he thinks like, oh, I'm ahead at this stage, when I, I don't think he is, uh, unfortunately. I think he was thinking, okay, I'm in a good position. I just want to make sure that I don't have to deal with any harassment as long as I take care of this shuttle. And that's why that Wraith is out there. As long as I take care of this shuttle, I will be A-OK. -okay. And I'll, be con I'll continue to be able to harass with these vultures and still sneak in, which is a true statement, apparently, because, well, got one probe there. Otherwise, diving in a little bit suicidally. This is a lot of Dragoons. Observer moving across the field is going to see all these mines on the front door. But here's the thing. For Mullet on the opposite corner of the field, yes, he has that Wraith. But he is looking at a skeleton crew. It looks like he's sealing himself in upon this realization. He's only got two siege tanks. Two siege tanks to deal with this... What is that? At least a full control group of Dragoons. At least a full control group of Dragoons. Plus a shuttle full of... Uh, and honestly, I feel like Scarlet can just elevator these guys anyway. Okay, moving up. I think Mullet might have, scanced, uh, might have canceled the Wraith, because I don't see the Wraith anywhere out in the field. The shuttle moving out, getting taken out. There's the Wraith. Not even providing that much of a defense. And I think... Honestly, Scarlet might be able to A-move right into this. With this many... Dragoons. This SCV's coming off the line. I take it back. It looks like some of the these units being taken out. Observer being taken out as well. And unfortunately, a bit of a sloppy engagement for Scarlet. The front door blockade pays off for Mullet. So he's going to be able to stay alive, at least for today. Engaged a bit differently if that... Shuttle had been kept alive and there was an elevator right here. That would have been matched, but... As it stands, 80's Mullet lives. He lives. And the Wraith did get a kill. So, not... I, I, I'm gonna chalk it up. Wraith got a kill. Just now getting a second gas, though. Now the shuttle's sneaking in with just Zealots. Looking to be annoying, but needs to be careful. Uh, gonna move back to where the Wraith is at. And this is actually... Yeah, I feel like this could still happen. We'll see. Are, are we gonna see an elevator? No. Scarlet's gonna go ahead and back off. She doesn't need to attack at this stage. She's got her third base versus 80 Mullet's... 80s Molt's very delayed second base. In fact, I think this is... Is this just two SCV? Okay, now it's getting that third SCV on gas. So, also 80s has been very delayed on his gas production. A couple Dragoons sitting back here. And, and now, yeah, I think Scarlet is making the right call. Just fan out, make sure no additional sneaky expansions have been taken by 80s Mullet, and play the game from there. I think 80s now realizes that, oh, actually, no, I need to sneak my way back into this. Has three Vultures inside a dropship and might be able to sweep down. There are two Dragoons there waiting to defend there. Nothing in the main thus far. Templar Archives, Stargate, Weapons 1 being upgraded. And I do think we have Weapons 1. Yeah, I think we have... Well, let me see if I can find the factory. This is always kind of the guess... Or armory. Always the guessing game. It's like, where did the Terran put the armory so that it'll be able to, to sneak in and find it? So armory, Weapons 1 being upgraded. Vulture Sneaking Crossed is going to be able to find a probe that was looking to build a Nexus. So going to be able to delay that at the very least. Nice micro on Scarlet's part being able to attack there and now 80s rather than going all the way across is going to try to sneak in see what he can get dropping a couple mines hoping to get a couple dragoon kills could lift back in the drop ship and proceed those dragoons are boxed out only zealots being dropped this is, kind of, this is interesting play using a shuttle with speed that's actually interesting i can't remember seeing this before so one amazing counter that i have never thought of up to this stage is when you have a shuttle and it is speed upgraded which by the way completed before that robotics facility got wiped out you can just mirror the vultures with your speed zealots and even if they plant mines maybe you can as long as it's not happening inside your mineral in, inside your mineral line with your probes you can just mine drag or do other things to deal with that in fact i would say almost two dragoons in a speed shuttle Actually, four zealots, I think, is better. It's almost like, yeah, it's not a precise defensive countermeasure, but it does disrupt what those vultures can do somewhat. Kind of odd. Um, I'll have to give that more thought. But not something I've seen at this stage. 80s Malt going ahead and taking his mineral-only third base. Scarlet's is already producing, and she's starting to now just warp in her third, moving out with a lot of Dragoons. And this is what I was talking about with that Scarlet, APM, and macro play in the mid game. As you can see, she's already 40 supply up, which is a very comfortable supply lead. Unfortunately, she's walking into kind of the strongest point. So doing some nice zealot bombs there. It looks like two C one sea chank at half health, another one getting dropped. But this is kind of the strong point of Mullet's engagement line. But she is overwhelming units, so never mind. Also getting additional zealot drop. So 80's Mullet, it, I didn't think that attack was going to work, I'll be honest. 
I didn't think it was going to be as overwhelming, but beautiful micromanagement, beautiful engagement, and Scarlet just barreling through against 80s. Observer's gotten taken out. Zealot's working on these siege tanks at the natural expansion. This is not what you want to see as a Terran opponent. Now Scarlet can just comfortably back up and reset and do it all over again. Maybe take conditional expansion. She has enough resources to do so. She's sitting at a... Wow, that's an immense amount of production. So that's 10 gateways thus far. Probably going to see up to 12. And she, I think she feels it. She's like, you know what? Let me just end the game right here. 80s does not have enough to keep up with me. Let's just wipe out everything. Dragoons in the natural. No siege tanks up above. There's GG. That was a lot of Dragoons. Well played by Scarlet. Good recovery. Mullet, it looked like there were moments where he could have taken that match, but not quite it. He actually told me that out of I don't know how many games they played, he only managed to win three, which might have been a, det a detriment to his ego, which is why uh, perhaps in his show match versus Tastosis, he was, or against Tastosis? against uh, Tasteless, that his uh, games do not go as well. Battered Ego can do a lot to a person. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Check out Scarlet when she is streaming, although I haven't seen it happen in a bit. Hopefully she will be up and running. Amazing StarCraft II player. And check out AD's Malt stream, as always. And also, I guess you should check out me streaming, because I'm doing these live. Hint, hint, there's Patreon out there, too, to keep me going. I think I'm still sitting at the four, four patrons. Zachary Leslie... Uh, the Mr. ES Navi and um, Paul Hoke. Don't want to forget Paul Hoke. Give them the shout outs at the end of this. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for listening.